Well, The Daughter's Walk is a story about a mother and a daughter who in 1896 accepted a wager that if they could walk from Spokane, Washington to New York City, earning their way across the country, um, and do it in seven months, they would win $10,000. Well, you know, what interested me most about this story was the remarkable walk that these two women made and what it would have been like for the daughter because most of the information was about the mother and what she had wanted to do. And I thought if I was 19 years old, really kind of wanting to get on with my life, how would I have felt about being maybe dragged by my mother across the country? And, and it was a pretty scary time. Uh, it was, the election was on, the unions were in turmoil. Uh, women did not go out without an escort. And yet these two women were gonna walk across the country and how did they do it? So they make it to New York. Uh, they arrive December 23rd, but they are two weeks late. And the sponsors renege. And so now here they are stuck in New York City. They have no money, they have to earn their way back. Well, when I read about this walk, the thing that intrigued me was there was a little side note that said that after they came back, Clara, the 19-year-old daughter, changed her last name, uh, went to school, had money, and separated herself from the family for the next 20 years. I think people are gonna be interested in this story because of the remarkable walk that the mothers made, or the mother and the daughter made, but also because of what happened afterwards, how that relationship um, severed, and then how both of them tried to make their way, and whether the daughter's walk in some ways uh, didn't in fact parallel the mother's walk even though we set out to do something different, uh, we sometimes walk the same paths as our parents.